Supplement number two, creatine. Creatine. For everyone. Yeah, no question. All ages. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, over 18 or something. or You could even go earlier than that. Creatine, you think we should have every day? It, it, it is the most efficacious single supplement you'll, you'll ever find. <laughs> really? Tell me why. <sighs> Boy, we should probably have done this the very first Cre question. Creatine, so what does it do it is, for you? It is probably the number one to three most studied supplement. And this is like back, bringing me back to like 16 year olds back in high school, like creatine getting that pump. Yeah, yeah, right. You remember getting mad when you hear about your, like a guy you're playing is like, oh, he's all hopped up on creatine. creatine. <laughs> <laughs> guy's cheating, he's taking white yeah, protein yeah. and creatine. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's so right. much stronger. <laughs> well, it works. Yeah, so tell me why it's creatine. So in the, early, in the 1990s. I haven't heard creatine in years, probably. Really? I haven't heard anyone talk about creatine in oh, maybe. My ever on the show. No way. I don't think anyone has told me, any nutritionist, oh, scientist, doctor, uh, you know, You're athlete. The biggest rock. I don't think anyone has told me creatine in the last nine years. It's number one. That I can remember. Tell me why creatine is okay. the number one thing we should be taking on a daily basis. Tremendous amount of science, right? Which is a, uh, means it's very robust. It works under a lot of different situations and a lot of, it's not only gonna work for old people or it's only gonna work like other supplements where, for example, if you're, everything has a curve, right? Yes. Or meta curve. So if you are at the top of that curve and you're at the optimal range, whatever that means, right? Mm -hmm. Of vitamin C, for example. And I give you more vitamin C. Nothing happens. If I continue to give you more and continue to give you more and continue to give you more, you actually start to get worse, right? Because now you're overcrowding. Mm, too much vitamin C. Well, too much anything, right? Now vitamin C is like, again, pretty safe. Yeah, yeah. And that curve is long with vitamin C. Uh-huh. But other, other things, that curve is short, right? Um, we could go with any toxin, same sure, thing, right? Sure. Like they just have a really tight curve, and it's like, hey, milligram and two milligrams, death. Right? Okay. Vitamin C is more like, okay, three grams, five grams, 10 grams, like you're still fine. Vitamin D, same thing, like you could do- You could do a lot of vitamin tons D. Tons of yeah. vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Now there's some, like we're, we're actually, like I can't tell you how many times we have improved people's physiology right now by pulling them off vitamin D. Mm. Um, we just got some labs back about two weeks ago and doubled uh, testosterone from simply removing vitamin D. Wow. You play with things that have hormone-like effects. Yeah, interesting. Okay. But creatine, now, with, though. Like, without, generally, vitamin D is super safe. Yes, yes. Generally, yes. a supporter. Right? Yes. You, you should be paying attention yes. to vitamin D. Um, I like precision. Right. Having said that, um, everything has this curve, right? So if you are here with vitamin C and I give you too much, actually things get worse. If you're cl clinically deficient and I give you that same amount, then things got better. Uh -huh. So you have to understand where on the curve you are with some of these things. Uh, testosterone is another easy example. If you're at a normal range, going normal to a little bit higher has very f nil functional effects. Mm -hmm. But if you're a little bit low to going to normal has huge yes. positive beneficial effects. Okay, um, Creatine, doesn't have a curve like that necessarily. So there's no clinical like deficiencies of creatine unless you have some of these really weird uh, conditions. But having said that, you can really kind of take it a lot and it doesn't kick back, there's no feedback loops. So I just keep powder, straight powder to the water, drink creatine all day. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna <laughs> go cause your bones to start excreting excess right. calcium or anything like, like, like other vitamins huh. and particularly minerals will do. Man. It's not a hormone, so it's not gonna change your regulation and production of growth hormone or anything like that, like other stuff do. So number one, ton of science. It works on a lot of populations, meaning if you're a little bit low on your creatine or you're already good, you're still gonna have an effect. It's okay. It's very cheap. Right. It's very accessible. Creatine monohydrate is all you need to really get to. Um, it's been, uh, the safety profile is outstanding. So we have very little evidence to yeah. suggest it's gonna be detrimental to anybody. Long term. Um, long term or short term. Uh -huh. All that on one side and say, okay, so what's the risk of taking it? Well, basically nothing, right? Because of all this, which is different from any, not any, but a lot of other supplements. So you take creatine every day? Positive effects. Let's get here. <laughs> yes. You can take it every day. Do yeah. you take it every day? Or? Yeah, I try to. You try to. For the most part, yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, I'll, go through, I'll go through phases internally uh -huh. where I yeah, do, yeah. do different things diet-wise uh -huh. and stuff-wise, but like, yeah, so to not get off topic here. Um, we associate it with stronger, bigger. Mm -hmm. And through the 18, 1980s, 1990s, that was became pretty clear. 
And then I sort of left the field because I was just like, we know the answer. It's super safe and it works for athletes. And then other people started picking it up and going, well, what about for things like brain function? What about recovery from traumatic brain injury? Mm. What about um, cognitive decline? What about neurological health? There is actually strong data suggesting a relationship between creatine and depression. Mm. There is a, um, and to be very clear there, creatine is not solving depression. Like that's not how depression works, right? Has there some data to suggest it may be helpful? Yes. Um, there's a lot of other health benefits associated with it because think about it this way. The way you make energy biologically is it's going to come from a number of sources. Creatine is actually the very first one. Hmm. People think carbs and fat, and those are the predominant sources, but the very first place is actually creatine. It's a one, the stoichiometry is great. It's one-to-one. One One thing of uh, creatine, one molecule of ATP. So you're not, it's not a high energy producer, but it's the fastest. It's stored in inside the cells themselves, and they can directly create basically ATP. It, kind of. There's one step in between. You get the idea. Right. So it's very fast, but it burns very fast. The brain loves that. Mm. Astrocytes around the brain love it. And when, we, when you look at all the trials that have been done um, with any of these populations, cognitive decline, injury, neurological function, there is a lot of of research moving with creatine in all of those areas. Um, mm. Again, it's not a treatment and it's not a cure for Alzheimer's. Sure. Um, some of the data suggests it's not doing much and then some of it is like maybe there's a slowing of the reduction or slowing of the progression. Mm. Some say maybe not. Wow. But there's enough health benefits globally um, that we're basically saying, look, a lot of decline in cognitive, whether it's function or um, mental health, it's looking like an energy problem. Again, not exclusively, but it's, it's a big mm-hmm. deal there. Um, this is why you see trials with lactate, providing folks with lactate and seeing really good improvements in brain function with mm. uh, George Brooks and stuff, doing that with brain injuries. Interesting. Um, well, it's because those things like energy. And we know that they prefer glucose because it's a fast energy source. Well, they actually love creatine as well in some of the places. So it is- uh, Creatine. It is a very, very- Useful, useful supplement. Yeah, no question. Wow, 